You can't put a microchip in a banana. You cannot improve a banana because Western consumers, the rich world, will want a banana exactly as it is. Look around you right now. Everything that you can see is the result of economics. This is it. The computer that you're watching me on is a result of economics. The chair that you're sat on is a result of economics. And the building that you're in is a result of economics. People have all kinds of ideas about what economics is. And some people think that it's all about money, they think that it's all about getting rich, that it's all about what the stock market does. And economists actually care about so much more than that. People think that a rich country or a country that is doing really well is just a country that has a lot of money. We might think that the United States is a very rich country. It is one of the richest countries in the world. Our goal here with the Model S was to create the best car of any kind. But we also know that in the United States there are many problems with things like racial equality. Just because a country is considered rich does not mean that it does not have problems. We can't just put a rich country in a box and a poor country in a box and leave them in those boxes. We've got to be thinking about what are the labels that we put on those boxes? What are the assumptions that we're making? We're going to ask a really big and important question. Why are some countries poor? Join me as I take you on a journey through economics at New College of the Humanities. I'm Mariana Coley, and this is your Subject Spotlight. <laughs>